Hey Fun Flingers and YouTube land, it's your boy Danny Pack and I am always thirsty for foam. Uh, today I got for you a little show and tell. Uh, I've uh, been building blasters but I have not been shooting videos at a high frequency to be honest so I apologize for that. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. So first up we have a dual stage band blasters, uh, 3S LiPo. Short dart, semi-auto, no full auto kit yet. Uh, anywho, um, we've got a little Buzz B foe barrel from Negotiator, a little Retaliator part, just a little rework on the front, a little motor cover on the side from Retaliator uh, barrel borrowed. We've got my cool lightning stock, I think, and I think that's like a dart zone something scope from some old blaster that nobody cares about. The other side is pretty much just stock. It's got some band blaster stickers and my petting it out a geek sticker that's nice and shiny um anywho we're gonna do some test fire we'll go through some blasters uh this one's the first up uh i'm not quite hitting 300 fps as been advertised um however i am getting 270 and topping out maybe 280 uh so let's see what we got here bear with me the sound might make it so you can't hear what i'm saying i'll tell you the highs and lows and uh average right afterwards we'll just take maybe four or five shots so. All right. So what we've got here, I got some, now granted I'm using some really used darts guys, so uh, I've got a high of one, uh, 276, a minimum of 232, that was the only one that hit that low. I did have another one that was like 250, so it's really bringing the average down to 265, but uh, on 10 shots, really the average was more in like the 270s. But uh, just so you guys don't think I'm lying here, we can scroll through some of the action here. Yeah, the first shot was 253, uh, 274, 271, 258. 232, the really low crappy one, then 271, after the six shot, all of them were 270s. 276, 276, 267, 271. So, I'm living in the 270s, I say not too shabby. Um, when I talked to Adam about it, I was ecstatic that I'm hitting above 250 with a flywheeler on a simple dual stage. Uh, he was uh, actually quite disappointed because, uh, you know, he, he his claims are, um, I want to say very on point um, because any of the single stages I have all hit 200 FPS so I might in the future look at the wiring maybe uh, make sure it's there's no other bottlenecks on my end from my build because you know previously I had daybreaks in it and I basically just uh, didn't redo any wiring and just kind of put in this cage in the existing uh, wiring loop uh, and yeah I'm still happy with it so I might not revisit it because I mean hey Still hitting nearly 280. Uh, let's see. Next on the list, we've got. Woo! About to knock off my congra. My demolisher build with the chopped off ham. Uh, lots of freebie 3D printed parts on Thingiverse or printables. Uh, I almost went with a battery stop, but I went ahead and said, screw it. I'm going to go the whole butterfly route where you got to had the wire come across to the opposite shelf for this opposite battery door. Um, I, get, I did do a little expansion, but I've got a, a, a smaller a 450 or 300 uh, milliamp uh, battery in there that fits. But I did take off the front muzzle. I thought it was kind of cool. It was just the bars in the front. I think I like the boxy front ends in some of my builds. But those sights, I think they're off the thingy verse as well. The side rail and that top demolisher rail that I think came out beautiful as a metallics. Did use some uh, translucent green here because I have a lot of it. I'm not a fan of it but I gotta use it up. So that's what I used on the door as well, that translucent green. But I don't mind the two-tone or really three-tone green color it was a modulus. But let's see what, what we get out of this. So this is a single stage. Um, Semi-auto. Basic build. Let's get a reboot. So we can report some fresh numbers for you guys. Got line up there, right? Maybe I should line it up with where the darts are catching. 
for cleanup's gonna be fun. 195, 198, 193, 195. So, my first shot was 179. After that, I was living in the 190s pretty consistently after that. Uh, average was 193, high of 199. Um, yeah, that is my demolisher build. You guys, gotta know, I love me some band blasters. Um, let me round, let me destroy this box over here. I guess those boxes didn't take enough damage. All right, next up, yes, I have another build for you guys. Bear with me, this might be sacrilegious to some of your Bolter fans out there, your Warhammer fans, but uh, I just wanted a cool project uh, to play around with my 3D printer. So, printed me out some freebie Bolter kit stuff, and there's a few different uh, sets to pick from. The one I picked from has these big giant plates on it, and you gotta print these separate um, emblems and super glue them on. I pretty much went with just screwed everything in because uh, I don't really like messing with glue when it bleeds and gets on stuff sometimes. I did do, uh, this is not part of the the bolter kit, but I, I thought it'd be cool to have the flare magwell with it because it just seemed empty in between the plate and the bottom of this magwell. There was nothing there. I went with purple and green scheme to kind of overpower the blue background because I don't like painting guys, but I mean I think for a straight just print kit job, I think she looks pretty sweet. And of course being powered by band blasters, this one sounds so much different. It's, this one's actually quite heavy just from all the 3D printed parts on it. Um, she's still hitting 200 FPS guys, we're about there. So let's do testing on this. And this is the final blaster. Uh, should I get fresh numbers? We'll do fresh numbers. I mean, I'm kind of just doing a show and tell, to be honest, and just trying to make some content, see if that you guys might enjoy. 195, 205, 203, 198, 183, 196, 196, all right, let's just... Nice. So I did do the triggers and stuff. Of course, everything. Now that I have a printer, I'm like, let's just print new, custom everything. Jam door. I had to buy this though. This was not free. Got a FYI. And there are a couple different files of these. I like this one. There's like the mini skulls on it. I thought that was kind of cool. And this little beveling here. Uh, that's not designed. That's not on the other one. And the crosshair. I guess you can see. The crosshair. I kind of like turned it. So it's like an X instead of a cross so an x hair anyways that is my sacrilegious colored no insignia bearing bolter stripe and that is all three of my builds that i wanted to share today so if you guys liked my content please like comment subscribe if you ask any questions, I will do my best to get back with you. I am doing my best right now to not take a picture of my toes. Anywho, this is Thirsty for Foam, and I bid you farewell, and I hope you good ventures on your modding adventures. Alright, so good night. See you later.